All eyes once again turn to Humboldt as the Broncos get set to take their home ice again this week. Now, it's been a long five months for those impacted, but they say they've felt the support from across the country. We're going to have a hockey team that is going to want to play for that logo on the chest. The arena in Humboldt still covered in memories of last season's team. But as players train to take on the Nippon Hawks Wednesday, the team president says he doesn't know what to expect. Support from the world, from Canada, the, the province to help get us to this point um, is huge. The Broncos were set to play the Hawks April 6th, the day their bus collided with a tractor trailer killing 16. This week's game will be broadcast live nationally. And this weekend, St. Albert's Trisha Wack, mother of Stephen Wack, captured readers' attention across the country with an open letter to Post Media. She says she forgives the driver of the tractor trailer and calls for stricter seatbelt laws, saying her son was killed when he was launched from his seat upon impact, smashing the back of his head and breaking his neck. Going on to say she was shocked to learn there were seatbelts on the bus that went unworn. She wants them to be mandatory on all coach buses and for it to be the law to wear them. This highlights a whole lot of things and, and there's going to be some changes that are going to come out of it. Exactly what, I don't know. Speaking to a coach driver today, he sees the importance of seatbelts. The problem is many of these older buses don't have them, and installing them could cost from $100 to $600 per seat. Right now, Transport Canada is making it so all new buses after 2020 will need to have seatbelts. However, there are no words on changes to buses already on our roads. For Trisha Wack, she's also calling for laws to empower drivers to make people buckle up. Something the driver I spoke with says is possible, but may face some challenges. I think in terms of safety issues for the driver, I'm always constantly uh, making sure his passengers are buckled up if he would do that. Saying drivers will be focusing on the road, not seatbelt usage. But WAC is calling for us to all buckle up for the Broncos. <laughs> Back in Humboldt, 10 of these players came from other teams in the league to play for the green and gold. An honor. For all the stuff that had to happen between April 6th and up to this point to start fielding a team is incredible. There's a lot of people that have done a lot of great things. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.